wow everyone oh, what a day but it was worth it uh mission accomplished so look at the uh here's the here's the receipt i know the the, the printing is uh, kind of weird because uh some reason there's a a line going through the middle but uh anyways the 20 gallon part something washer i know it's missing there but uh uh, you know, that's what it retails one, almost 130. Advertised savings 45. So this was on sale for 84.99. And then with the extra 25% off, um, man, there, there's my, there's my total. 63.74. So, um, you know, usually this, this, uh, parts washer is, um, right here yes this parts washer right here is usually uh, 99 which um, you know let's see here let's see if I could find it in here but that's that's the liquidation sale again going on till um, you know what's funny is uh, I go in there the problem with me I'm I get so happy and giddy um, it's till May 13th. Okay, that's that's not a problem. So I uh, I got I got some rain checks just in case, but I I'm, I was able to find uh, one. Um, they actually had two on the floor, but uh, um, on this particular area. But if you look at the parts washer, uh, where are you, parts washer? In the catalog that was mailed to me, uh, the parts washer goes for uh, almost damn near $99, which is, uh, you know, of course, more. And this is the May issue. So um, that's my, uh, you know, pick of, I guess, the month or the week or the day, whatever, the minute. Um, if you guys are in the market for a parts washer, uh, jump on it right now. Um, let me see, where is it advertised? Uh, there it is. Okay, there it is. See, there you go. $95.99. Um, kind of what it usually goes for, even if you use a coupon. Of course, the higher price doesn't matter. So, um, there you go. Uh, I just got a big savings and got a parts washer for... Um, half the retail price which is awesome and so um, that's an extra 20 21 dollars um, savings I would say that's you know come on focus why aren't you focusing damn it there we go um, that's that's worth it that's that's worth a drive through town um, plus it was fun to do this so it's it's worth it in my opinion so at least I got mine at the beginning of the month and then uh, and if I want to get another one I can um, so anyways uh, mission accomplished on the 20 gallon parts washer now I can go home and uh, uh, clean out my uh, transmission pan and uh, put in my transmission filter and change out the fluid and all that good stuff I'm, I'm ready uh, of course if you see my episode on the uh, um, the floor jack that I recently got, and the uh, uh, floor jack stands. Um, I'll put a link up there. But other than that, I mean, uh, I guess this is the beginning of my automotive, uh, you know, tool collection. So, um, gotta, you know, I gotta fix my wife's minivan. So, anyways. Uh, you know, thanks for watching everyone appreciate it I hope you all enjoyed this episode and me getting that parts washer um, of course I'm still looking for that one on the wheels I have I have yet to see it at all um, it's it's a phantom you know item apparently there's a, a 20 gallon parts washer with pump just like this with wheels so, I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I'll go ahead and just um, buy another mover's dolly and just uh, have this on a mover's dolly. Um, 
uh, that might be a better you know, a way to do it. So, or I got some casters that in the garage. I can just apply them on here. So we'll we'll see what happens. Anyways, I gotta go. Uh, it's been a long day for me, and um, I'm ready to head home. I'm gonna beat the traffic, and uh, I gotta work on my wife's car now. Uh, now that I uh, got the parts washer and everything. All right, see you later. Bye.